In the last episode of Battlefield 1's Best Weapons, we looked at the SMG category in the Assault class. And of course, the result was obvious. The Hell Regal came out on top. A surprise entry at number 2, however, was the Ribeiro's Carbine. This week, we're looking at the Medic Rifles, and which one voted for by you guys, the viewers and the community, is going to be crowned king. The poll this week for votes on various different medic rifles drew a lot more votes than what we got for the SMG episode, which is great to see. The more people voting each week, that adds more validity to the series representing the true community opinion on which weapons are the best. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of this episode again today to find out which weapons you'll be voting on in the next episode. This week, all vote totals are being taken from the 21st of January, and we have a total of 6,975 votes as I'm recording this commentary. As I predicted, we did have a good overall spread across all of the rifles in the class that we can use, but there are some clear choices still above the rest. So without further ado, let's start with third place. Taking 617 votes, it's the Mondragon Rifle. This base game weapon has long been one that I've really liked, but it's the class in general that I struggle to really bond with. And I think many other Battlefield 1 players has kind of felt that the Medic class wasn't really fit for purpose. The Medic in Battlefield 1 arguably has some of the most polarizing features when the game launched. You have some really powerful gadgets like the Medical Crate, that can keep your teammates alive, and of course the Revive Syringe, and that can bring your teammates back from the dead. But both of those are only really useful in close quarters engagements. You have to run right up to your friendly teammates to heal them or revive them. The medical pouches do have more range and they heal players quite effectively, but I think the core component of the medic class is to help your team keep their tickets. And that means reviving them rather than letting somebody respawn. However, medics were also given the second most long range weapon selection in the game, the self-loading rifles. This meant all the work that needed to be done at close range could potentially be stopped if you came across an enemy at close range. The self-loading rifles aren't built for that type of combat. Luckily, however, DICE is looking to improve that situation massively with the upcoming weapon balance patch, which will give all medic rifles more chances to succeed at every range with increased accuracy and reduced bullet spread. Some rifles didn't have as much of a problem as others, but overall, they should get a lot better now. But back to the Mondragon rifle, I'm quite partial to the Storm variant. That gives you iron sights and a foregrip for reduced recoil. The 10 round internal magazine gives you plenty of bullets to fire before you need to reload. And when you do need to reload, two clips of five rounds can be loaded through a receiver at the top of the weapon, making it a fairly quick medic rifle to reload. There are quicker ones, but this one is fairly good. Now the optical variant adds a lens sight and that offers you better accuracy whilst you're moving and when I say better accuracy I mean reduced bullet spread if you're moving and shooting at the same time if you're aiming down the sights. The sniper variant does the opposite to the optical that gives you a bullet spread decrease if you stand still and shoot whilst using the high powered scope. All three variants will serve you quite well. You can reach out quite far with the Mondragon's damage and bullets fly at 800 meters a second as they leave the barrel. So they should be hitting targets at range rather quickly. So that's the Mondragon rifle at number three, a very good all round rifle. And because it's in the base game, everybody has access to it. Number two is a brand new entry to the game, only recently being added with the Gallipoli section of the Turning Tides DLC. With 1,272 votes, second place is claimed by the Farquhar Hill Rifle.
This British weapon was designed in the early 1900s, it was tested in late 1917 and was then set to be produced in early 1918 as a potential rifle that could be handed to British troops on the front lines in France. With the Russians withdrawing from the war in late 1917, the Germans in the east were being shifted across to the west and the British knew the fight was going to toughen up even further. So having a weapon that could output more damage faster than say the Lee-Enfield bolt action rifle might be key to victory. Sadly, the war ended before the first units could be produced and since then there was no need for a weapon at all, the Farquhar Hill was lost to history. Luckily, a few units do exist and this is how we have it today in Battlefield 1. The Farquhar Hill comes in two variants in Battlefield 1. We have the Storm and the Optical and both of them, in my opinion, are great weapons that you can equip yourself with. The Storm variant is my choice of the two, coming with iron sights and a foregrip to reduce the recoil produced by each shot, and the Optical offers similar benefits as the Mondragon Optical, although this time it reduces bullet spread both whilst moving and standing still when you're aiming down the sights. The Mondragon has those two actions of moving and standing still, they're split between the Optical and the Sniper variants, so if you want a more versatile rifle, the Farquhar Hill is a good one to pick. Now, interestingly, this weapon has been voted the second best rifle in Battlefield 1 right now, and DICE has recently admitted that the weapon was not performing as they had intended. In a CTE update earlier this week, DICE added fixes to the rifle to actually improve it further from the state that it is in the base game right now. DICE has reduced the amount of time that it takes to deploy the weapon and they fixed the higher than intended recoil as well. So the rifle is going to be even more of a beast once this next patch drops. To inject my own opinion, this rifle is actually my favourite in the medic class right now. I think I have about 500 or so kills with it since the DLC launched and I can easily see that reaching 1000 when the next two Turning Tide maps launch in the next week or so. I really, really like the Farquhar Hill rifle and I think it's kind of disappointing that this is a premium only or DLC only weapon. It would be great if everyone had access to it and could see just how awesome it really is. So that's the Mondragon rifle in third place and the new Farquhar Hill rifle from the Turning Tides DLC in second place. The winner, however, of the best medic rifle in Battlefield 1, taking 37% and 2,595 of the total amount of votes, it's the Fedorov Avtomat. I think we knew this one was coming, didn't we? Just like last week when we knew the Hell Recall was going to win. A weapon that completely transforms the medic class from what was a long range, accuracy based healer into a frontline, aggressive, fully automatic combat healer. Of course it was going to win the poll. When the weapon was introduced with the Russian DLC back in September 2017, it clearly grabbed the attention of a huge section of the community that had access to it, and this poll proves that its popularity is nowhere near fading. The trench and optical variants of the Fedorov essentially give the medic class a weapon that can directly compete with the SMGs from the assault class, and that's a combat scenario previously that the assault class would win most of the time. If you equip the Fedorov now as a medic and you come up against somebody using an SMG, you stand just as much of a chance of winning as you do losing. The Fedorov gives the medic a chance to reduce the range between them and their target and stay stuck in the battle a lot more so than some of the semi-automatic rifles that you can choose. It also completely avoids the situation that I mentioned earlier with the Mondragon rifle where the rifle doesn't allow you to be effective when trying to heal and revive your own teammates at close range. Equip yourself with the trench variant and you've got a weapon that will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any of the SMGs and likely beat them. Max damage inside 20 meters is higher than that of the SMGs at the moment. Fire rate is a little bit on the slow side, 450 rounds a minute, but that's easily manageable. If you can be accurate with your fire, you'll bring players tumbling down in just four shots at close quarters. That's some serious firepower when you think that this weapon is also fully automatic. 
Of course, you do lose that ranged effectiveness that you get with other self-loading rifles in the Medic class, but you should know that when you're choosing the Fedorov. You're choosing it because you want to be more effective at close to medium range. You want to be supporting your teammates with health and revives where you can. Had this weapon been in the game from the start when Battlefield 1 first launched back at the end of 2016 now, I can almost guarantee you it would be as common a sight as seeing an assault player running around with the Hell Regal. It might have even made the Medic class a more attractive choice at the beginning. We might have seen more players reviving and healing as a result simply because they had a weapon where you could be effective at the ranges where I believe it matters most as a Medic. So, there you have it. The best medic rifle in Battlefield 1 is the Fedorov Avtomat. Kind of expected that one, to be honest, but there we are. You guys voted for it. However, in the next episode, we're going to be focusing on the shotguns of Battlefield 1. So head down into the description, click on the straw poll link, and go and vote for your favourite. Nearly 7,000 votes poured in for this medic rifle poll, so it would be awesome to see the same or even more come in for the shotguns. But thank you very much for watching today, guys. Make sure you leave this video a like if you're enjoying the series. That lets me know I can carry it on and do all of the other weapon categories as we approach the final DLC for Battlefield 1, Apocalypse. But again, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.